Previously on Sambo. Let me know what else you guys would like to see, whether it be something really crazy in the downtown area or something really far out on the map. I don't mind. Um, all things are welcome. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are filling in this little lovely spot right here. So let's get straight into it. So what I just put down there is actually a stairway tunnel. Now I know that I'm always against tunnels, but once you see this whole area, I hope you guys can kind of see the theme that I'm going with. So there is a there is an underlining theme of this whole area. Now I'm not going to tell you what it is until the end, but you can keep a lookout for it. And the theme is something that it's very, very common throughout any city. Um, the, the name of it starts with S and that's all I'm going to say. But I mean, you can kind of tell through the types of buildings that I use, what I'm really going for. But anyway, so we have this road here, which is one of the connections. This is another one. Now I had to do some kind of design that made it so it wasn't particularly of high interest for cars to go through because I don't want all of the traffic to go through this little back street. I want all of the cars to go down through the roundabout area on the main road. So eventually I design it in a way with a really, really low speed, which is not appealing to them at all. And if they do want to go across through here, they can only turn left onto that main road at the top screen. So they can't really get too far, but if they want to turn around, they can just go on the, uh, the roundabout there. So we also have this area here, which is going to have a lot of little alleyways. There's going to be a real mixture of housing, well not housing, but apartment buildings. So I should, I should mention that all of this area is going to be, um, it's going to be mostly residential apartment buildings, but there's going to be a few, a few shops in here as well. And yeah, so if you didn't check out the last video, actually no, it's two videos ago where we work on the central, what is it called? Central park area. Um, you should probably check that out so you can kind of see the theme that I've got going on there. And we kind of just continue on with that because we are right in this area. Um, I do try to look in here, but you, you can't really get in there too well. You can't really see. But the good thing about that tunnel stairway thing is that it does work. The people actually go in, they go down through the tunnel, they go underneath. So it is actually functioning, which is really, really cool. So these buildings that I'm putting down now are actually from, they're based in Hong Kong. So that if you want to go find them, they're the Hong Kong style buildings. But I thought putting in a bunch of them does kind of fit in with the Russian, Russian-y vibe that I've got going. And I've also, I also put in some very hardcore Russian style buildings like these ones right here, just to give it that depth instead of just doing high rise building. So I want to do a bit of high, a bit of low, just mix it up a little bit. There's also going to be some really, really low density commercial areas as well. Um, just like as local shops, like your corner store and things like that, which is going to be really handy for them. And personally, I would like to have a corner store in this area as well. Um, I also add in all of the necessary facilities. Now this is actually my second time recording all of this. Yes, it's, ugh, it's so annoying. I don't know what's going on with my computer lately. Um, it could have, have something to do with summer. It's being really hot. The computer's overheating, but yeah, things are just being deleted and I'm having to redo it and recordings are not recording. And I'm just like, oh my God. So hopefully I don't skip anything, but if I do sound like I'm tr like rushing through it, it's just because I've already said all this already. Um, so there is the train line that goes directly through this, the whole area, but based on the type of area that it is, I think it is, it's okay. And one thing I should mention is that in that corner there near the roundabout, the reason why I wanted to do a more alleyway kind of curvy layout is because that area is the start of the old town area. So when you look at an old town, the layouts are generally very wavy, windy. They're a little bit crazy. So I wanted to show a little bit of that older style road pattern in the more, um, developed high rise area. So like I said, it's just the start of the, um, the older style town area.
So in terms of like the shape of these two areas, the aim is to basically put in a park in the middle. So all of the larger buildings kind of, they either look over the highway or they look over uh, main roads or they look over the park which is going to be in the middle but the parks they're not going to be as big as this whole block so there's going to be different things within the block some of the blocks have different buildings there's going to be some little park areas as well but that's just the theme just to basically open up the whole area and um yeah i think i think in the end it looks pretty good it looks pretty useful as well and honestly i think having that space in the middle would be something that people would like to have instead of just being in a real concrete jungle so yeah and where where i'm doing these um tree boule boulevard roads that is basically symbolizing hey this is where the park area goes and you'll notice that the park continues directly onto the stairway so the reason why i did that is because i wanted both sides of this that main road right there to be open so all the way through you can see directly straight through it just makes it look a lot more open and um, there's been a lot of studies that show that if it's more open, you can see further in a city, it does actually make you feel better. You can look that up if you don't believe me, I don't really care. But there, it, it, is, it has been proven that this type of design is quite beneficial. Um, you'll notice there's also a few little curvy roads throughout the little area. There's some alleyways, I know I said that already, but I just wanted to utilize the space a little bit more instead of just plopping down a whole lot of buildings really, really quickly and not thinking about what it really looks like too much. So, and you can see that I'm really go like going through the buildings, like finding what type of building do I want, um, like commercial, residential. I don't think I put any office or industrial. So it's it's really a um, a living space. But you you you, I'm wondering if you guys are seeing what I'm doing so far. I mean, to me, it's obvious if you look at one side versus the other side that's a little bit of a clue but we'll, we'll get there so since the recording did kind of die <laughs> um i'm obviously not going to go rebuild everything on just for on camera so i think we will just cut to the end and we'll go through a few things and also i want to talk about the theme which is something that is very common in real cities so let's have a look Alrighty everyone, recap time. So, um, like I said, I've already done all this already in another recording, so hopefully I cover everything. So let's start down in this, uh, actually let's talk about what the theme is. So the theme is segregation. Now what I mean by segregation is not like for certain races or stuff like that, but I actually mean for example like highways or train lines. So segregation in cities is very very common, so you might just have a neighborhood and then one day a highway gets built directly down the middle, one side maybe starts to become more rich and the other side becomes lower in land value. And this is what I kind of wanted to do in my city, so if I just pause and zoom out, um, you can see that we have the rich downtown area over here and then once you cross this main really big industrial road you come to these more lower socioeconomic housing so a lot of these are actually from hong kong they're hong kong assets so no offense to them but i thought they do fit in with the whole kind of more poorer look that i'm going for well, not necessarily poor but just more shoved in there's a lot in this area um, so you can see there's a lot of higher buildings i also put in some lower style russian buildings as well um, there's also like these guys over here little playgrounds and things like that and since it is a more cheaper housing area i thought it was okay to put the train line directly in through it and honestly i love how that looks i think it looks really really cool um, yeah i just i just really think that looks really really good and then over here as well, it continues on a little bit and then just some rocks on the side of the shoreline to just stop instead of doing like a boardwalk type thing. So as you can maybe see, or maybe you didn't see, but this end is kind of cheaper. And then the more you go to this side, the more classier and expensive it gets because obviously next to the central park, it's going to be quite high land value. So if you look at these buildings, some of them, they're kind of nicer well maybe not nicer necessarily but 
the idea is that they would be nicer um, like these buildings here I think they look quite good and then these larger ones are kind of nice but once you get over to here it slowly transitions into these more thinner clustered type buildings so that was what I wanted to go for um, and I thought segregation is it's definitely it definitely is a real thing to consider uh, in all cities and yes all cities all towns all areas it does happen and um, this is a good example of it now just quickly I shoved in um, there's a school here so this is it's technically a kindergarten but it's actually a primary school so an elementary school this is also another one right here um, we have this big one here which is the high school which with a big bit of actually that's all just tennis I wish it was a variety of things but anyway they have that as well I also hid in some where is it so this is the clinic so this guy and then i also hid the crematorium yeah in there so you can't even see that it's in there but it's it's in there because like some of them were complaining and i thought i definitely need to have a medical clinic because of the noise pollution coming from this guy here so let's check that out actually noise pollution i mean it's not too high it is quite high around here um but it's it's not that bad generally it's an okay area and um we have this guy here as well so like i was saying i, th I think i was saying it in this vi this video when i recorded it um this i wanted this whole area to be quite open and then the openness if that's a word continues on through over to this side as well so i didn't want to do a pedestrian bridge over the top because i think that would kind of break up the image from this side versus that side so i wanted to keep it all low density and you'll notice the trees in the middle part are not big so the larger trees are on the side and that's something that they actually do in town planning um what else i added in a little pedestrian bridge here i think realistically the bridge would just the stairs would go up and then connect here and they'd walk across but obviously i can't do that it probably is the way to do that but i don't know how to do that so yeah um also underneath the trains i just put in some parking lots and um yeah so there's lots of little alleyways in this part and i, I don't know if i mentioned this already i think i did but I'll just mention again, mention it again. So we have the old town here. So obviously with an older town, uh, you look at old city centers, the layout is quite windy and quite crazy. So the reason why I did it here is to show that this is kind of the edge of the old downtown area, which is going to have more free flowing layouts, which is why I changed this road to be just a little bit more curvy. You can see this one is starting to curve as well. Um, instead of just doing grids like this, which I find quite boring, I think this is much more exciting. So that's why this is more, a little bit, not too crazy, but it's more flowy. It has some curves, some little alleyways and things like that. So definitely I love doing different shapes, different terrains. It just makes it more exciting. So I think that's generally it. So did you guys pick up the theme that I was going for? Um, it, it, maybe not it I don't know <laughs> I don't know um, oh yeah this is a police station down here as well and I put in a this is a fire station fire depot whatever you want to call it is right there and yeah I think that's it so I'll just give you guys some final shots of the city and don't forget to leave a suggestion for the next video who knows maybe your suggestion will be what I do but anyway thank you guys for watching and enjoy these final clips and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys. Thank you.